My name is Simon Klose and I'm a Swedish documentary uh, filmmaker and uh, I am currently working on a documentary film about the Pirate Bay, the world's largest file sharing site. I grew up uh, in the 1980s and uh, I grew up copying VHS tapes and cassette tapes and I've grown up uh, uh, in, a, in a culture where, where uh, music and film uh, was shared analogly and when, I, when the internet came around I, uh, there was this immense uh, cultural wealth that was suddenly just there of all these rare films and rare music that I that was maybe not issued on CDs or maybe not issued on DVDs and when I saw that I used the internet to to keep sort of uh, collecting music and films and uh, four years ago I accidentally bumped into uh, one of the founders of the Pirate Bay the file sharing site that uh, that the White House actually threatened the Swedish government over and when he told me his personal story I was really intrigued by that as a filmmaker always looking for characters and, and personal stories so I started filming uh, the Pirate Bay founders in 2008 and I filmed them for around four years now I, I started making this film because I believe in a free internet and by free I don't mean free in a way that doesn't mean that artists shouldn't be able to make money off, their, off whatever it is that they produce. I, I'm a filmmaker, I want to be able to make money off of my films. But I still do believe in an uncensored internet. But the film that I'm making is, is a film that uh, follows the three uh, founders' personal processes. And it uh, focuses on, on, on this group of young computer rebels uh, more than the actual sort of journalistic uh, discussion about the file sharing dispute. I started uh, this project just like I started uh, my other previous projects as a DIY project, do it yourself. I'm a, I'm a filmmaker that uh, is also a cameraman and an editor. And so the first uh, year or so I financed it myself. From, uh, but, but then I managed to uh, get the Swedish uh, National Broadcaster on board and then I, I managed to get the Swedish Film Institute on board and then uh, we built on that and now it's uh, suddenly uh, funded by uh, by three uh, public broadcasters in Scandinavia and three film institutes and also I've uh, crowdfunded the uh, the film on Kickstarter which was uh, a sort of revolutionary and uh, and uh, really game-changing experience for me where I learned that by engaging your audience and, and actually communicating with your audience you could um, you, you didn't just uh, uh, raise money, we actually raised $51,000, which was totally amazing and helped me edit the film. But also I learned that you could actually use that um, crowdfunding experience to, to communicate uh, with your audience and, and nurture uh, the audience in a way that it worked as marketing, it worked as, uh, as a, a sort of proof of concept that I had an audience that I could take and, and, uh, and actually get more traditional financiers on. So now I'm, I'm sort of sitting in this really interesting situation where I'm, I'm financed both by internet users and traditional institutes. My next project is actually a, a tech project that I'm uh, going to launch together with the film. It's, a, it's an interactive project where, and it's also part of the film experience, where we are trying to embed links uh, directly into the film using PopcornJS. Um, a uh, technique where you uh, actually uh, a technique developed by Mozilla that lets you actually embed links into the film and th that way I will be able to um, post links in the film uh, that lets my audience actually engage with the film so and also I will be able to post links in the film that lets my audience sort of educate themselves on the extremely uh, 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 sort of hot topic of file sharing.